Hello everyone and welcome back to Steven the Mal play Kirby Superstar. My name is Steven George. I play video games. Sometimes it's Kirby Superstar and sometimes it's with my wife. When we last left off, we got this game started, showed you guys Spring Breeze. Today we're going to be going into the next game, Dynablade. And uh, unless I'm completely mistaken, I think we're going to be able to take care of the entire game today. It is a level three, but it is Kirby. Oh, okay, I'm going to stop myself right here and now. I know the first episode, I tended to say quite a few times that the game was easy. I am going to give a my... A few? Maybe, maybe more than a few. I'm going to give my, my best word that I will not talk about how easy the game is for the rest of the LP. Because I completely ruined Halo for a lot of people because I talked about how bad the level design was over and over. You know what? Kirby is not an easy game. Kirby is a casual game. How about that? Is that is that better? I mean, it's not bejeweled, but... You know what? I'll shut up. Kirby's a great game. That much is true. Let's get Dynablade started. Dynablade. New game or new game? I guess new game. Shall we explain copy? No. To be honest, I don't want to go through the entire guide explaining everything when, honestly, we know how to play the game. If you guys want to know how to do it, then get a hold of a copy and do it. Okay, let's hit no. It's going to tell us anyway. It does give us this little thing because it is very concerned that we played through all of Spring Breeze not using abilities. <laughs> I mean, seriously, can you imagine playing and not having any abilities? So it's telling us this much. We can actually press start to skip this, but this part is short. It's like, hey, you can create a helper. And then we're brought to uh, this overworld map, and Spring Breeze didn't have an overworld map. Uh, that is unique to um, Dynablade and Milky Way Wishes. Super Mario Brothers? It's actually very reminiscent of it. In <laughs> fact, um, it's very rem reminiscent of uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, because you know how... Um, there will be the little Hammer Brother guys that walk yeah. around. That happens. Oh. And we're going to see that really soon. Also, there's pink trees and blue trees. Yeah, Kirby um, Kirby likes to, to paint, as we'll see in a later uh, episode. Let's start it off. I love the music in Kirby Superstar. The music is probably the best part. You trying to kill me? He almost got you. Let there be, Sir Kibble. And Mallory has joined the fray. We're gonna keep moving. These levels are pretty short. Um, every level is about eh, roughly five minutes or so. Sweet parasol. I will kill you with the power of the umbrella. I'm gonna throw this because I want the guy you killed. That's actually gonna be a frequent thing. I can I can already see. You're gonna kill all the people that I want to eat. All right. We'll just both be cutter. We'll cut down some some baddies. Crap, I just killed another Why one. Why are there stars in there? Um, Kirby really likes stars. He actually lives on a planet called Pop Star. And, uh, stars are a very common theme. Well, I thought I could collect them, and that was sort of upsetting. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that the game has upset you. Um, the, the, uh, this LP is actually going to be interesting, if only for the fact that, um, we're approaching it from, uh, you know, both my point of view, which is I've played the game quite a few times, and then we have Mao, who has... We we actually have played this. We've played the DS version. Yeah, um, that's true. And I don't think a lot of people knew that, but uh, we both own the DS version, and we've played through it. But we've only played through it once, and I don't think it was very memorable for Mao. Not really. Um, but that might be because the game is, you know, that E-word. So I'm going to try to refrain from saying that again, and we're going to work through it. But uh, that's good because it'll actually be somewhat fresh for Mal. Beam is um, one of the more powerful abilities, but it does take a while to charge up. Um, this episode, uh, Dynablade, we will be able to see my favorite ability, which is arguably the strongest, um, and that is Plasma, which we won't get into a little bit later. Plasma's my favorite. Once again, uh, if you have full health, throw your swords just like Link. And even though Mao is uh, the helper character, she can actually touch those things and become something herself. So if she wants to become sword, now she's Blade Knight. So it, it kind of gives the second player a, a little more options. It's it's like they're actually doing something, once again, a little better than what they allow you to do in uh, Sonic <laughs> whenever you're playing as Tails. Excuse me? I'm so and you know what? There was a comment in the first episode where uh, someone had gotten upset that I said something bad about it's not it's nothing against Tails. It's just that in Sonic in Sonic 2 that they don't give you a whole lot of you know abilities as Tails if you're playing as Tails. If we come up here we'll actually get a lollipop and I would share it with you, but I'm already on my way. And if you hold um it. If you hold A, you 
you should turn into a star. Oh, A. Yes, and you actually stay a star. And someone pointed that out to me uh, last episode because I knew you could do it, but I didn't know how, so I, I appreciate that. And obviously holding A the entire time is no fun since you don't actually get to attack anything. Um, but that's also how you commit suicide, which is a wonderful thing to teach children. If you rapidly tap the A button uh, on the second player's controller, you kind of blow up into fumes. And then if you... Well, the problem is there's no real ability for you to get here. Let me see if there's another ability down here. No, you're just gonna you're just gonna probably die. <laughs> if there's see if there's another ability that uh, Mal could get, like the cutter that was up there earlier, if she touches it, she'll she will regain all of her health and become that. Oh God, I'm gonna okay. Hold on, there's a crash up here. Let me carefully grab it without dying. Got it. And uh, I'm gonna let you take over most of the fighting down here, so I don't get myself killed. Actually, maximum tomato. Yes. M is for maximum. All right. Um, oh hey, boss. Yeah, it's a chef. And he's going to get crashed. This is what I meant to do in the first episode. And I'm going to eat him. Oh, crash doesn't... Maybe I didn't wait long enough, or maybe crash doesn't work on him. Okay, he's now I'm going to eat him. This is one of the... This may be the only place Cook is in the... Um, in this... In the... Kirby Superstar. I'm not sure. If you eat the chef... He's so happy! I know! Isn't this great? This kind of stuff thrilled me as a kid. This is one of the reasons Flam. I love the kid. <laughs> Kirby loves Flan. And the sparkly doors mean that we're at the end of the, uh, the level. And she tried... Oh, wow. Oh, God. Okay, Mal did pretty good. I just hit a button. I think I, I think I got you by a little bit. Goal indeed. Look at all the enemies. Were, oh, yeah. Oh, doggone it. I was so close. So we got one up that we'll never need because the game does... does uh, never mind. It's very and, uh, generous with its one up. Yes, because the game is generous. We'll go into the second level, which has some of the best music in any video game, in my opinion. Uh, anytime the enemies are carrying a parasol, you um, automatically get parasol, no matter what they are. But there are better abilities. Let's see here. Like Blade Knight. We're going to walk through this door and attack some enemies. Left and right. I'll get the one on the right. That was easy enough, and there will be one more. Dang. Yay! Alright, so we'll make our way through here. Dynablade is pretty cool because there's actually two secret areas uh, in Dynablade, and the first one is in this level, and we'll be coming to it very shortly. It's not very well hidden. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite abilities, which I won't use forever, but it's called Ninja, and it allows you to actually stick to walls, which is really cool. You can actually, like, jump up walls, so... Ninja Gaiden, which is pretty neat. Another one up, once How again. you get... Ninja? No, no, no. Um... Uh, what's it called? Underwater. A scuba mask. That's oh. the word. Um, I have no idea. I guess your character doesn't have a face, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> they can breathe under the mask. I guess. You have become the ninja against your will. And I now have bombs. Uh, bombs are actually not what I need, so I'm actually going to get rid of this. You're going to follow me around? This is what I want, as I nearly lose it. Mirror. This is uh, one of the guys that I pointed out in the f uh, first episode, but we didn't. We accidentally killed him, or Mallory killed him. Uh, if we use this ability here, you're going to have to get out of my way. <laughs> we'll oh, unlock this door, and we can hit this giant button with our puff, actually. Oh. I can't tell you the amount of times I've turned on my, my light switch at home with puffs. You, should, you guys should try it sometime. Actually, if anyone makes a video response of them trying to turn on their, their lights, turn on or off their lights just like by puffing their mouth, that would be fantastic. There needs to be more puff videos in the world. Uh, one of the reasons I like the mirror ability so much is that I told you uh, in the first episode that the left and right um, shoulder buttons will guard. Well, with mirror, it's reflective, so check this out. Let me get him to actually hit me. Hit me with the bomb! Okay, he seems to be very bad at this. Check it out! Is that cool? Yeah, that's neat. So it's uh, pretty much the best I mean, it shield. Kind of neat. Oh, I I'm... mean, it didn't go back and hit him. Well, psh, I'm sorry. It did bounce off screen, which is weird. Did you notice that? It yeah. actually went through the walls. Just 
strange. I don't like Ninja. I'm sorry. Would you like to be some mirror? No. Actually, just touch Cother and you're good to go. All right, and you have uh, stolen his soul, much like uh, Dovahkiin steals the dragon souls. That's my favorite part. Is that your favorite part of Skyrim? Yeah. Mallory's been playing a lot of Skyrim on her own. Uh, she's way, way, way further than me. You're like almost level 30 at this point. Yeah, um, I think I'm 29. Traveling Actually. by traveling by star is very common in the Kirby games. Here, you can be Samira, and I will also be Samira, and we will both be Samira. Oh, he tran. Oh, if you t if he teleports into a wall, then he's done for. Kill this Cappy and continue onward. And oh man! Oh wait, 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 wait! Oh yeah, this is the best thing ever. You do not get to choose. You get to become the wheel. Touch that thing. Yeah, because now I can ride you. What? Yep. Now you can press the Y button and go fast, and you'll kill enemies in your path. And I can press Y and shoot stars. And you actually have to have two players. Um, you can't just use the computer person um, to do star shooting. You have to have two physical players. And also, I can't control the jumps. You have to do the jumps. So we're okay. going to come up to a boss soon. And uh, you're going to have to give it your best shot. But I might fly off. I don't have an ability, so you're just going to have to... Just touch him and you'll get the hammer ability. And now you'll become bonkers. Just smash him with your hammer and you'll be good to go. Yay! I'm way cooler than him because I'm purple. <laughs> purple, was, purple was better than green? Yeah. I don't know if I'd agree with that. My entire... All my channels are done in green. I love green. Purple's Gr better. Green's always been my favorite color. Um, although orange is a close second. How does he fly? He's got special sneakers, obviously. Okay, and it looks like you figured it out. Uh, there's little uh, po uh, s spokes, spokes, pegs in the ground. Uh, you need stone or hammer for. Oh. That was the I alternate. I figured ending. I had a, a mallet. I could. Yeah, yeah. If you have a mallet, you can do it. All right, mallet. You okay? That's pretty, pretty good. But can you beat this? Yes! I totally beat you again. It's funny because I had actually practiced these levels a little um, beforehand. And I screwed up every single time. I was hoping I was gonna do good. So we have 13 lives, which, um, to be honest, we're not going to lose any of them. <laughs> okay, now we see that we have an E on screen. So we're going to go touch that. And uh, so just take this guy out real quick. You can just smash into him. And uh, okay, he's dead. If you'd like to become him... Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, if you'd like to become him... And uh, no sooner had I said that, and you had smashed his brains onto the pavement. <laughs> I, I don't think I just hit. Yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Anyway, that button that we hit in the last up in the last level is going to unlock this thing, which basically lets us decide. Um, Score. I know, right? Come here, Wisp. Mallory, Mallory remembers enough from playing the game uh, that she knows what she wants. She wants to be Plasma Wisp. And to be fair, Plasma Wisp is pretty sweet. Uh, basically, the only attack you have is press Y, but whenever you move around the control pad, you start to create stronger attacks. It starts with a needle, and goes to an arrow, and goes to this little blast, and then when you fully charge it, you get an aura around you. And actually, at this stage, if enemies touch you, they actually get hurt themselves, and you just shoot this giant Kamehameha wave. So it's pretty awesome. So now we can use these abilities and go to any level we choose, which will be the next level. And this level's pretty cool. Man, that is awesome. It really, I think the reason I love the plasma ability so much as a kid is because um, I, I really like Dragon Ball Z. Although, I, to be fair, Dragon Ball Z came, all, came along a little later, but I was the kid that even though he was getting like the new systems and stuff, he still went back and played, you know, Kirby Superstar and Super Nintendo and stuff. I mean, I played I played Earthbound at least once or twice a year for every year of my life since I got it. So um, I really liked Dragon Ball Z when I was in, I guess, middle school. And I remember equating Plasma to that because, I mean, come on, it's like a Kamehameha wave. All right, if we're careful here, we should be able to grab that one up with minimal injuries. You'll be able to get it a little easier than I can because you can fly. So if you... Yeah, if you just do that, excellent. And then I'll just stand by the door. If that's not cheating, I don't know what is. Alright, giant panda bear. Got you under control! You're getting plasma! don't have 
stripes. That's a polar bear, actually. Polar, polar bear bears don't have stripes. Those weren't stripes, Mal. That was actually um, electrical tape. Is a electrical panda, electrical electrical frozen panda. Uh, there's uh, little spiny things are called gordos. Um, actually, uh, one of my early Kirby games before I ever had Superstar, I think, was Kirby's Dream Course, um, which is kind of, is kind of like a golfing simulator. It's actually one of my most favorite games of all time. It's a very very unique game. It's basically golf with the Kirby abilities, and it's really really fun. And uh, there's there's a lot of gordos that you have to avoid. Because if you if you touch them, you actually lose a like a health point or something. It's kind of hard to explain without seeing it, but if you ever get a chance, look up Kirby's Dream Course. It's a fantastic game. Might might make a good OP. I don't know. It depends how interested people would be in watching golf. So you can uh, you can certainly kill the guys with uh, the needles, but it's a little easier to. Oh, you're dying. You better touch uh, Jim. I don't want to touch Jim. I've always pronounced it Jim. Um, but I, I, I'm sure some people would pronounce it Gim. I don't know. It, I always thought Jim made more sense. Uh, wait, don't hit that. Okay, hit it. Got the one up. And I'm gonna try and grab this Sunday And get back in this door. It looked like you were about to say goodbye. Almost. Almost. I'm okay. You're fine. You're Jim. Actually, if you, uh, dash where you double tap and then you hit the Y button, you do a really sweet, uh, spin on your head. Yeah. That's my favorite thing about Jim. All right, careful flying as you jump into the lava and get yourself killed. Into the door. All right, um, now ice is really sweet ability. And I'm actually, if you want to be Wisp again, you can Yay! have it. I am going to grab ice. Gotcha. I love the sound that makes. I've always loved it. I yeah, don't know that's why. that's pretty awesome. Do, 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 do. And uh, one of the coolest things about ice is that you can actually freeze enemies if they turn to ice cubes. Can you open this path for me? Just make a really big blast and shoot it. It should work. Sweet. Awesome. Kirby loves food. Honestly, if everyone in uh, Dreamland was starving in Spring Breeze, they should have come over here to Dynablade because there's food everywhere. Oh, crap! No! Gotcha. Okay, anyway. Where did I go? Where's my skate? Oh, I accidentally hit your skate. There we go. And uh, Plasma can get on the skate as well. Wow. Did you see that? I just sucked that sucker up. I was like, man, get in my mouth and die. Turn into an ice cube. That was awesome. Ice is a really fun ability. All the, all the abilities are so fun. They're so creative. I mean, admittedly, a lot of them are very over the top and unneeded, and they do, you know, a crazy amount of damage. But they're really fun. Let me try to get an ability here and freeze that guy and jump on the star. Once again, traveling by star. Wisp is adorable. You like him? Yeah. He is a cutie. He's also really neat in the fact that he can, you know, you, you can just actually use the control pad to, you know, move around. I'm pretty sure that's the only helper that can do that. All right. Aww. Oh, you missed him. Oh, crap. I better be careful. All right, you better keep. You better work on this boss for me. He's gonna focus his attacks on me. So try to take him out as fast as possible, because otherwise I'm gonna be in deep duty. This is the great thing. If you get in trouble, you just make your your second player do it. Awesome. Don't touch this if you don't want it. Suplex. Suplex is so awesome. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> That right there, oh my god. I would get suplex as a kid and just do that ability where you tap like on their face just 400 times. It was awesome. I'm going to get this one. You could always let me go first if you really want go me ahead, to. Then. Okay, I'll do it. Ready? Go, go. Oh! The only thing better than that is full white. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got your beat, Mr. Plasma Wisp. Look, our South Carolina is 51,720. <laughs> Okay, we've More earned candy lives. <laughs> oh man, we've we've earned so many lives that we don't necessarily need. It's like candy. Because you don't need candy. You're just giving it away. Oh wait, hold on. Oh god, jeez, that is uh, burning Leo, or flaming Leo, or something. He's actually the ability that we're going to need for a majority of this level. 
because you can do really awesome stuff like this. Bam. Ow. Jerks. I see, I see you've become a star and are following me around. I guess that's the safe route. You could probably play through the entire game like that if you really chose to do so. Let's go down here. Ow. Oh, doggone it! No! Crap, if the star touches the, uh... Uh, touches the water, they're they're done for, so... Oh. That sucks. Now... Oh, also, this ability. Sleep. Yep. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Wake up with drool in your mouth. What, what, what was the point of that? Uh, nothing. It's just... Huh. It, it's just in the game. Let's go up here and hit this thing, and then fly back up. Literally, emphasis on fly. I don't think there's anything up here. No. Let's head over here to the right. There should be another burn in Leo. They should be fairly common. And also ready to kill me. Gotcha! Jerk. Okay, let's unlock. With, uh, burn and Leo. Or fire, rather. We can go right through these Gordos. And Mallory can just hold A. Which is fantastic. And we I will... I not think any way of the rocket. There we go. 21 lives. Uh, and we haven't died yet, although we did get pretty close uh, in that last, uh, the last level. Ugh, take that, Gordo. There's no way to kill Gordos, uh, even with Crash, so. Oh, crap, my ability. Alright, I'll just get you. And uh, that enemy over there was just simply called Gator. Uh, it's hard to re remember all of the names for the guys, and I, I know I'm going to miss some of them, so if I do, just forgive me. I apologize for killing uh, Bird, the Bird ability. I think I think his name's Bird on. Oh crap! Kill it! Jeez, you're not doing too well either. No, but I'm alive. You could kill yourself and become the Bird. Never mind. <laughs> you you I'll have kill this strange Pikachu. The strange Pikachu? Yeah, those things get mad. Oh, it's coming after you! Oh, it's coming after you! Oh, you killed it. Let's see. I'm not really scared of it. You should be scared of scary Pikachus. If you, uh, if you commit, if you... Oh, 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 we gotta get you an ability. Touch it! Touch it! You're a bird! Welcome, bird on. I am... You are bird One amazing bird. Uh, I think there's an invincibility lollipop down here. Yes! Ooh! And, uh, when it, whenever you get an invincibility lollipop, you actually travel a lot faster. We can take a shortcut up here. It's, uh, also a lot faster to not, like puff up your cheeks and just re do regular jumps. There we go, and there's the door. You're such a cute pink bird. Yeah, I know it. With my aviator helmet on. And this Ow. is... You got you got shot in the face. Vernon Leo is not playing around. Okay, and the reason we needed fire was to light that fuse and jump in the cannon, which takes us to this special room. Now, don't hit this thing. Don't hit that. Don't hit it. Just be very careful. If we come over here, we will get the other button. And that will unlock the other secret area. And uh, that just has more abilities. Although, to be fair, it doesn't have plasma, so no one cares. If you touch... This. That is tack. Touch it. And, let's see. Tack. Take... I think tack is take and copy. Um, basically, you go up to somebody whose ability you want, and you attack them with it. Although, they can also steal you, so you have to be careful. And if we are very careful not to hit any of those bomb blocks, we will be okay. Crap! Took my ability. I'll become stone. Wait, how'd I get fire back? I guess because you killed him, I got, I got fire back. Just keep traveling up and make sure we avoid as much as possible. Can you grab that? Is that possible? Maybe not. No, I think we have to unlock the stuff, and it's not worth it. We have 22 lives. The door should be right here. Yay! And... We're pretty much done. Let's kill Mike. I really don't need him. Pretty much just running through this level at this point. Although bombs are fun. Uh, really, if you, you can probably just hold on to fire this like the entire duration of this uh, uh, level. Oh, hey! You're stone. Nice. Uh, actually, I'm going to become stone as well. Don't touch this fire thing. Uh, the game decided you needed to touch the fire thing. 
Stone is a really cool ability because once you, you only have one move, and that is become a stone. Uh, but once you are a stone, you are completely invincible. You're actually not even on the same layer as the rest of the game. He's dead. So you can just kind of chill. Bam! Plus there's a lot of uh, different uh, things you can be. So Kirby. That's the that's the one that I always tried to get as a kid. You, you'd rapidly tap Y until you, 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 uh, you saw this. And I know anyone who played this as a kid did the exact same thing. Because I talked to other people who had this as a kid, and they, they did the same thing. If you want bonkers, you can kill yourself and touch them. Nah, I'm fine. And I will smash his brains out. Alright, he's dead. I'm pretty awesome with my hair. That they is they, like, pretty... Roll. Is that pretty friggin' sweet Look at hair? That. Yeah, that is... Okay. I'm, like, headbanging. You should, you should keep the hair. Alright, then now we'll, uh... You know what? No, I'll help you. Oh, I missed. Wow. I actually lost my ability. I'll become, uh... I'll become... Well, I guess I'll be stoned again. I was gonna be... Ah, don't hit me with the... No! Oh! I lost it. You know what? Maybe I should just stay out of your way. You seem to be doing uh, just fine. I am doing just fine, thank you. You're right. And that's actually the end of the level. Alright. You want me to do it first again? Yes. Here goes something. Good luck. I set the bar high. Ooh! Ooh, Mal. Ooh. Ooh! Nice. It was a tie. Although we don't get any extra lives Unfair. for that. Yeah, I know. 25 lives, though. Can't complain. Alright, um, now let's take a quick look at the abilities we unlocked in this secret area. Honestly, not a whole lot I'm interested in. I do like Yo-Yo, which is gym, and Suplex is fun, although it doesn't work on bosses. I think maybe one, abil one of the abilities works on bosses, but that's it. Actually, I'm pretty, pretty awesome right now, so... You're going to keep fire? Yeah. I'm actually, um, I'm going to go back to the other one and become Plasma. Just because I'm going to show you how amazing Plasma can be and how devastating it can be to a boss. So let's go back and jump I'll up here. I'll just wait here with my awesome hair. Okay, don't be too awesome while I'm gone. I, I can't help that. <laughs> you, you I was can't, so you, awesome I had to teleport. You, Oops. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Is fire in here? Yeah, yeah. it's over here. Don't, don't be too awesome on your way over here. Oh god! Ah, the awesome! Ah, it's, bur awesome it's burning again. my eyes. I can't I can't take the, the sheer the amount troll. of awesome. You know those trolls back in like Oh yeah, the, the little late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, the, the little ones that were creepy as heck and had the crazy multicolored hair and you had to like The gemstones for belly buttons. Look at that you part. You're supposed I... to rub them and it gave you good luck. Okay, you obviously remember a little more than I did, but to be fair, I didn't actually own any. Anyway, now we'll move on to the fifth and final level, which is the boss, Dynablade. Really epic music starting up here. And we're going to climb this hill, and it's going to take us to a small room where we can choose a very small amount of abilities, because you have to remember those other places that we found um, are hidden, you know, so that's not guaranteed that you're actually going to, to have them. But I want to keep Plasma, obviously. Mallory wants to keep her awesome... Man, I just look at that. When you watch that glowing mane of hair. When you guard, <laughs> check. Look at that. You look Super Saiyan, except you lost your body and you're nothing but hair. Anyway, riding the star. Those mountains don't have tops. That's a bit odd. They could be volcanoes. Yes, volcanoes. Charge him a laser. And I'm gonna guard until he gets here. He'll probably come in on the side that we're standing. Shoot him in the face. Big chunk of damage. Chew them in the face. Big chunk of damage. Chew them in the face. Big chunk of damage. <laughs> He's going after me. <laughs> he wants your hair. He's probably jealous. I'm jealous of his rainbow plumage. He does have rainbow plumage. I'm pretty sure we just beat Dynablade in about 15 seconds. Oh my god, my plasma hat. No. Also, I always thought that looked really ridiculous whenever he was fought. Like, it does. They only have that one graphic, and they just kind of flip him upside down and make it wiggle. And I could never understand what Kirby was trying to do there. Was that like the heave-ho? That's just a weird-looking heave-ho. So now he pushes it all the way back to Spring Breeze, where Wispy Woods is. And uh, Maybe birds don't eat apples. I just thought it was really interesting, the, f the look on Wispy's face. Yeah. Like, does that hurt him, you think? Yeah. Like, ripping out his organs or something? It's very odd. So now uh, the chicks get big, and they fly away with Dynablade. So you 
kind of wonder what what was going on yeah, in the first place. I'm you know? confused. It, was it is it confusing? It's a little confusing to me as well. I'm sure the people watching are probably also confused. Anyway, that is it. That is Dynablade. Uh, we finished off Dynablade, and it says to be continued because it will be. Um, I'm not going to say why, but uh, there will be more antics. Uh, and by beating Dynablade, we unlock Revenge of Meta Knight. Now, now, that's not what we're going to be doing next. Next, we're going to be tackling the Great Cave Offensive. Uh, Great Cave Offensive is a really interesting one. It's probably going to take at least two episodes to finish. Uh, I haven't decided if we're going to do a 100% run or not. I think we're going to try as best we can. Uh, you actually collect treasure, and it's, uh, it's, it's interesting, but it is, it is a little more difficult, not from a, um, you know, an enemy standpoint, but trying to find all of the items, and if you miss one, uh, there is a few where if you miss them, you're actually completely screwed, so we're going to be tackling that next time and probably spending a few episodes on that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you haven't done so already, highly consider subscribing to Stephen Plays, a new video game episode every single day. And be sure to join me and Mal next time here for more Stephen and Mal play Kirby Superstar.